Going to the exam question walkthrough for A-level chemistry. So this is transition element number 21. If you want to check out the other videos in the playlist, I'll put the link to that at the top of the screen now. Question deals with shapes of orbitals, electron configuration, suggesting the formula of compounds from observations, and there's a question on the buffer system in blood with a focus on the role of haemoglobin. Hope you liked the video, hope you find it helpful, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love you to do so. But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. So part A, the shape of an S orbital is spherical, so we just need to draw a circle there. And a P orbital has this dumbbell shape, so you need to show both lobes, that's one P orbital. Um, you could either draw it vertically like I have, you could do a horizontal one or you could even draw it on an angle, but it's really important that you only draw one p orbital. Electron configurations now, so an iron atom has 26 electrons, so there's the electron configuration for that. Uh, the 4s2 and 3d6 can be the other way around if you want. And then for the iron 2, remember it's the 4s electrons that are lost before the 3d. So we lose both of those 4s electrons, so we end up with that for the configuration of the ion. Moving on to part B, this flow chart about the reactions of cobalt to chloride. So when you dissolve that in water, we've got the information here, pale pink solution containing a six coordinate complex ion. So that's going to be the hexa aqua ion which means that we've got that COH2062+, all in square brackets. Solid B, this blue-green solid's been formed by adding aqueous sodium hydroxide to um, complex A, so that's obviously going to be a hydroxide precipitate. So you can either write COOH twice, just give that simple formula, or you could write COOH twice H2O4. You could even put that in a square bracket like that. And then finally, the four coordinate complex ion C that's been formed by reacting the hexa aqua ion with concentrated HCl is going to be that there. Moving on to the next part, so cobalt 3 forms an octahedral complex ion D. So octahedral obviously means we've got six ligands around the cobalt 3 plus in the middle, um, and it contains both ammonia and chloride ligands. So I'm just writing above there the charge of the ligand. So ammonia has got no charge, chloride is negative one. So to work out the number and type of ligands we've got, we need to subtract the mass of cobalt from the mass of the ion. So we're left with one, three, nine for those six ligands. And then if you think about it, one chloride ligand is 35.5. So the fact that that's a whole number means that we must have an even number of chlorides in the complex. Four chloride ions would be too heavy, so it must be two chloride ions and four ammonia molecules. And then if we just work out the overall charge, so remember cobalt three plus, we've got two chloride ligands, one minus each, so that's taking it down to one plus. These are all neutral, so it's one plus. And finally, part C, starting with the first bullet point, we've got to explain, using ligand substitution, how haemoglobin transports oxygen around the body. So something like this would be fine. When you breathe in, O2 binds to the central Fe2 plus ion by coordinate bonding, and then at the cells, ligand substitution occurs, and the O2 is substituted for an H2O molecule, or you could say CO2 there. Another calculation, so we're talking about a buffer solution, and so therefore we need to be thinking casted over salt. So the H plus concentration of a buffer is equal to the Ka of the weak acid multiplied by its concentration divided by the salt concentration. Now, they haven't given us the concentrations, they've given us the concentration ratio. So the HCO3 minus ion is the salt, so it's 8.5 for the salt, and the acids, obviously this carbonic acid here, H2CO3, so that's one in the ratio. So when you put the numbers in, you get an H plus concentration for this blood buffer at that, 5.023 times 10 to the minus eight, moles per decimeter cubed. So all we need to do now is minus log to get the pH, which comes out at 7.30. 
So the lower limit for the blood is 7.35. So this blood is not healthy because 7.30 is lower than 7.35.